This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Yesterday morning, I downloaded the 30-day trial version of Alibre Design version 11.2 because I want to answer one simple question. What can you get for $99 in a CAD program? That's right. While most mid-range mechanical CAD programs cost somewhere between $3,000 to $7,000, Alibre recently dropped its price for Alibre Design Standard from $999, an already low price, to $99, less than $100. This discount prompted quite a bit of speculation. You can read about the ongoing discussions on my blog. But in this video, I just want to show you the software and let you make up your own mind. What I found is a classic parametric CAD program that's fairly easy to pick up. I've not used Alibre before, but I was able to figure out its 2D sketching and 3D commands simply by experimentation. Bear in mind, however, that I've had exposure to other history-based CAD programs, so I know how such a program basically works. It's not SolidWorks or Inventor, but I think $999 is definitely a fair price for Alibre's collection of 2D, 3D and shop drawing creation tools. At 99, they're a bargain. But here's the thing. Because SolidWorks, Inventor and Solid Edge are among the widely used CAD packages, a Libre's value proposition should be judged alongside its interoperability. If most of your clients and suppliers are using the other programs and you're using a CAD program that cannot exchange data with them, the savings you score from an inexpensive CAD program won't mean much in my view. So I did a few simple tests. I downloaded a SolidWorks assembly, a sensor bracket from a part supplier at 3D Content Central, then open it in a Libre. No problem there. I was able to do a few edits on the imported assembly and saved it without any hiccups. Now I exported the part I created as a SOLIDWORKS part and as an IGES part. The odd thing is, I found out neither SOLIDWORKS eDrawing 2009 nor SOLIDWORKS Viewer 2009, the two free programs for viewing SOLIDWORKS files, would recognize the SOLIDWORKS part I exported out of a Libre. I was, however, able to open the IGES file in SOLIDWORKS with no trouble, and I verify that the exported SOLIDWORKS part also opened in SOLIDWORKS without problem. There is something else that perhaps needs clarification. When you download the trial software from Libre, like I did, you actually get a Libre Design Professional, which is one level up from a Libre Design Standard, currently selling for $99 for a limited time. So when your 30 days is up, some of the features from a Libre Design Professional will no longer be available to you. These include sheet metal, Dirac editing, and some of the import-export options that come with a Libre Translate add-on. So you may need to invest in additional add-on to restore Alibre's interoperability with other commonly used CAD files. If you have tried Alibre Design, I'd like to hear about your experience. Visit my virtual desktop blog, linked to Desktop Engineering's homepage, then look for the post title Alibre slashes price by 90% to leave your comments. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong looking in the CAD bargain bin for Desktop Engineering magazine.